Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jess from Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please ignore the sound of the cicadas, 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 tomatoes, tomatoes in the background. I'm currently in Virginia. I took an unexpected break that is so needed and so refreshing already and it's already day one. So I can't imagine what the rest of this week has in store for me. But, or the rest of this weekend, technically, I should say, has in store for me. So this is going to be my temporary office for the moment. And then we're going to be headed over to Virginia Beach. There is a tiny little worm. I want to show it to you guys. It's a little, um, a little uh, caterpillar. He's so cute. Hold on. Say hi, little guy. You doing the most today? He's so cute. Let's name him Peter. Peter the caterpillar. I, um... I think he's so cute. But anyways, I really love it out here in the South, in the country. The lifestyle is just totally different. You guys know, or most of you guys know, I'm currently based out of Philadelphia. But if I'm being honest, so much of me has been gravitating towards the South lately, specifically Virginia and definitely, absolutely, 100% New Orleans. So we'll see what happens in the year to come. But that's neither here nor there. The reason why you're tuning in today is because you want to hear me talk about the Pisces full moon. And I had to talk about the Pisces full moon. I know that I'm technically on a break. I'm on vacation. But I don't take a break from the moon. I just don't. That's my life. That's my beliefs. And I am more than happy to share that what is what is going on and what is going to happen for that full moon with you guys now. So if you could be a little um, understanding of the quality of the video, I am shooting from my, my phone today instead of my normal camera. So the quality is a little uh, subpar, but it is what it is. I'm happy. If I'm happy, I hope that you guys are happy and let's go ahead and dive in. So the first thing that I must say with this full moon is the fact that it is happening in the sign of Pisces. Now I say this over and over and over again, but Pisces is one of the most misunderstood signs in the entire zodiac because it's so ethereal, it's so connected to spirit and spirit activity and your intuition and divine inner knowledge. Pisces is ruled by Jupiter. It's co-ruled by Jupiter and Neptune. Neptune is always connected to intuition and sensitivity and Jupiter is actually considered the, the uh, guru within the cosmos. A lot of people don't know that. The next thing that I need to point out is when you have a full moon, that means that the sun and the moon are actually opposing. So the moon is falling in the sign of Pisces and the sun falls in the sign of Virgo. Virgo sits on one side and Pisces sits directly on the opposite. Virgo is actually ruled by the planet Mercury and Mercury rules communication, words, thoughts, the things that we think and how we're able to translate that message from thought to mouth to paper. There's a reason why they sit directly opposite each other, Virgo and Pisces, because they need each other. Opposite, opposites attract. What is one person's strength is the other person's weakness, and what that person's weakness is the opposite strength. You'll see that within the entire zodiac if you study astrology deeper. But when we dive into this full moon, Pisces is all about connecting to your intuition and connecting to your inner divine knowledge. So Jupiter is the higher octave of Mercury, believe it or not. Mercury is the knowledge that it is that we accumulate and that we learn while we're here on Earth. Jupiter is the connection to the divine and source, things that we know internally. It's our belief systems, it's the internal guru, it's the wise sage that we find within ourselves and sometimes it's mirrored out when we ask for a teacher, when we ask for a guide, it's mirrored out in an external um, source which can come through in, a, in the form of a teacher. My mom uses this quote all the time and says, when the student is ready, the master will appear. So when you speak, when you think and you know, so that's Mercury, when you think and you know that it's time for you to have a guru, that's when you speak it out. And then the universe responds and then manifests that into your life. But you wouldn't know that it's time to set the intention for it if you didn't internally know. And that's that Jupiter-Neptune instinct. Again, Neptune connects to your intuition and also the divine. Jupiter is that guru, that internal guide. And then Mercury helps you to speak all of what it is that came to you through your vision, through your intuition, through your hunches, it helps you to speak it into existence. And that's what it is that we're seeing for this full moon. Now, full, moon, full moons work to kind of bring things to culmination, and that's why that's one of my favorite moons to work under, because everything is kind of swirling and making itself known. Emotion is real, emotion is raw. There's nothing that we're really holding, holding back. No matter what your sign is, your sun sign, your ascendant, or if you have planets sitting in the sign of Pisces or not, that Pisces energy is ruling something within your chart, 
And what it's doing is it's triggering your intuitive knowledge. It's, it's trigger, triggering your vision. And that's, again, why I started off by saying that Pisces is one of the most misunderstood signs within the entire zodiac because Pisces is able to see things that the rest of the zodiac cannot see and cannot experience. This means connecting to your divine purpose, your reason for being here, for, to, uh, to connect with soulmates, to connect with a higher level of health, and, and a better quality of living. Pisces rules the artists, the dreamers, the, the people who are able to take their words and turn them into poetry, and turn them into magic. Pisces rules the intuitive healer, the shaman. Why is that? Again, because Pisces is ruled by Jupiter and also co-ruled by Neptune. And the two of them work in order to create this like magic in your life depending on your own personal skill sets and each one of us are different. So what you want to do for this full moon and the days surrounding it and following it, me personally, I'm going to be working my magic the night of the full moon, of course, of course, but you have about two to three days to work strongly with the energy of this Pisces full moon. And if you are feeling pulled to ask the universe for your soulmate, for your twin flame, for your life partner, for unconditional love, these are the things that Pisces rules and Neptune rules and Jupiter rules. Jupiter also rules expansion and abundance. Neptune rules that connection. So this is putting out that soul call. The other thing that I'm seeing is people who are living lives that they're just kind of like stuck in the day to day because that's what Virgo does. Virgo is stuck in being of service to others, sitting on one end of the spectrum and then Pisces is sitting on the opposite end of the spectrum asking you to to do work that is connected to your divine purpose. If you're going to be of service to others, make sure that that service that you're doing is actually fulfilling a purpose, an inner need, and something that it is that you love truly to your heart. See, Pisces rules my 10th house, my midhaven. So it was natural for me to be of service to others in the way that it is that I'm doing, which means helping people to connect to their inner truth and also using magic and intention to help them to do it. When you check your chart, you'll be able to see what Pisces is ruling within your chart that is going to help to guide you and maybe even point the way a little bit as far as what steps you wanna take when it comes to setting intentions for this full moon. But I don't want that to limit you. I want you to really take the time out to connect with your, your heart's deepest desires again and to allow yourself to envision it, to imagine it, and to speak it into existence because Pisces energy can't work without Virgo energy. The sun is sitting in the sign of Virgo and, oh, a butterfly. Oh my God, a butterfly. It's so beautiful. You guys see him? Oh my gosh, look how beautiful. Oh. You guys see this butterfly? Like the place that I'm in right now is so magical and if we keep our fingers crossed He might actually fly this way because he's been passing by yeah over my shoulder and playing around with Franklin Who's in the background, but anyways back to the chart So what I don't want you guys to do is to limit yourself to just what you can understand when it comes to looking at your chart <gasps> ah, He's getting so close. Don't move. Oh, man. I'm really hoping that he comes by so you guys can see this so beautiful but anyways, I don't want you guys to limit yourself when it comes to um, setting your intentions because Pisces, again, works with not only your heart, but it works with um, speaking things into existence that and feeling things so that you're able to speak them into existence when it comes to the next level of experience for you. So again, I'm a Virgo, so I understand Virgo energy and mentality, and sometimes we're so grounded in the, in, in the here and now. And that's good because we're able to then take the ultimate vision and bring it into life using an actual efficient plan. That's what Virgo does. Virgo hears the message of Pisces saying, Pis and Pisces says, look, I had this vision, this is what I'm seeing, this is what I'm feeling, this is what is intuitively given to me, this is what I know, and now Virgo, I need you to help me to implement it. I need you to help me create a plan. And the two of them work together cohesively in order to create a life, literally, a life and experiences of our dreams that only the, in 
only the cosmos, only the universe, only the divine knows that speaks to us. So only we can hear that call. Only we can hear and feel what it is that is for us in our in our heart. And again, that's why Pisces is so misunderstood because Pisces is actually the sign that is able to hear the message, is able to hear the intuitive message and then speaks directly to Virgo in order to help it to come to life. And Virgo sometimes doubts it, but learns over time that Pisces actually knows what it is that it's talking about. So Virgo energy will actually work to bring it into fruition, will help, will help to bring that plan to, to actualize. And that's what it is that I'm seeing for this full moon. So I really want you guys to not only look to see what um, Pisces rules within your chart, but also see what is currently stirring within your heart that um, needs to be sp needs to be spoken, needs to be put out loud, needs to be written down on paper. And that's something that I'll be doing. There's a vision that it is that I see for myself that I intuitively know, but sometimes mentally I can second guess it. And that was another reason I think that, hi little guy. <laughs> that's another reason why I uh, wanted to take some time out to connect with my friends and to spend time with them, to laugh, to take a break, to pull back from working so much because Virgo, um, energy. I'm a Virgo if you don't know, but Virgos we can get so caught with our head down and focusing and you know And that's what what makes us so great But at the same time we still need Pisces energy to connect and the way to do that is by disconnecting to reconnect To a, a deeper source and the way to do that is by spending time in nature and spending time in um, Environments that inspire you Pisces is always looking to be inspired and life is not meant to be dull, it's not meant to be monotonous, it's meant to be magical. So if you're putting yourself in a space that you have magic around you, then you are going to absolutely not only have magic in the here and now, but create a life that is just beyond belief, that is picture perfect and is just so um, ethereal and romantic and phenomenal and that's what it is that I want for myself and that's what it is that I want for you guys so on that note I'm gonna go ahead and power down because I did tell you guys that I'm taking a break and I want to chase this butterfly for a minute I've got Franklin with me and he's you know out exploring and I want to see what it is that we're gonna come across of course if you're following me on my YouTube or I'm sorry on my Instagram then I'm gonna share some of the, those images with you guys there oh did you guys see that Oh, damn, he was like literally right there. I'm out. I gotta go. <gasps> Hi. Oh my god. Yay. He's so close. I don't know if you can see, but he's very, very. <laughs> he's very close. But, oh. Hi. So beautiful. Okay, one way to, last thing I'll say, and I really am gonna go play with this butterfly, but last thing I'll say is one way to work the energy of this Pisces full moon is by writing it down. So I want, I want to encourage you guys to start off with meditation and to visualize. And when you're visualizing, feel. Feel what it is that you truly want. Do not limit yourself. Pisces, again, is the visionary. It's a romantic. It's ethereal. It's connected to intuition, inspiration. So it's not so realistic all the time. Let me pull up a quote for you really quickly that came to me this morning that I want to share with you guys. It is, okay. If you limit your choices only to what seems possible or reasonable, you disconnect yourself from what you truly want and all that is left is compromise. And when I saw that quote, I was like, this is Pisces, this Pisces uh, full moon in a nutshell. So make sure that you really are connecting to the inner artist within you, the inner intuitive within you, and what it is that you ultimately want for yourself. If you've been experiencing a lot of disappointment in love, career, your health, it's okay. It is what it is. There's been a lot that's been going on. But with this Pisces full moon, it says, look, I want you to connect again with the deepest desires of your heart and to speak it into existence. And we're going to work to make our magic. So I don't want any of you guys to miss it. On that note, seriously, on that note, I'm signing off. I love you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.